like, you could have done that better, you stupid woman. Ooh, she's the queen. I will be honest with her and say that skirt looks really not great on you. God, oh, I'm a terrible person. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the assumptions that you have said that you have about me and talking through them, answering the questions, and hopefully you will get to know me a little bit better. The idea for this video came from Re from Mummy of Four. If you don't already follow her, she's amazing. Go and check out her channel. She tagged me in the video. So I have put the assumptions over to you. You submitted them via Instagram. So now I have to answer. If you're new to this channel, then hi, welcome. I'm Katie and I am a mum of three. And this channel is all about helping women take back control of their lives. So I share any tips that I find. I share grocery hauls. I do decluttering videos to inspire you to do the same. And I try and be as positive and uplifting as I possibly can. I've written down all of the assumptions so that I can work my way through without keep looking at my phone. Let's dive in. You are a confident mother, wife and woman. Wow, I mean that's a lot to be putting on somebody. Um, I guess I come across as quite confident. That I think comes from years of training to be a teacher and being a teacher. You have to put on your confidence for the day, your image for the day, to be like, right, I am here and I'm here for you, the class, and I'm not gonna let my personal feelings get in the way of the way that I deliver things. So I think years of teaching has helped me to put a brave face on things. Um, I am definitely not confident. I am not, I can tell you for now, I am not a confident person at all. Um, I'm confident in certain things that I do, so I would say I'm a confident mother. Again, that's from teaching. I'm so used to teaching the little ones that having my own little ones doesn't faze me at all. Speak to me in a few years time when they're teenagers, I was I taught reception. So when my children are teenagers, my confidence will be out the window. But certainly um, right now I'm in my comfort zone, it's fine. But um, as a person, not particularly confident. I doubt myself daily. Um, but it's all about trying to ground yourself, be grateful for what you have, be grateful for the life that you live and learn to ignore those voices that say, I can't do that, I can't do that and look around you and go, do you know what? Yes, I can. So I think that comes across and that's why probably you might think that I'm confident. You are strict but firm. There was a couple of people who said this and I think it's because my children are really well behaved. Um, it's true, <laughs> it's true. I am strict. My own mother thinks I'm strict with my children but she raised me in a very much, I won't say no unless I have to way, which raised me to be quite spoilt. Um, so I am strict with my children. I make sure they do as they're told. Not in a way that I, you know, I don't like hit my kids kind of strict. It's more of a, I'm the boss, I'm the adult, you will do as I say, and it's just sort of grown with them. I don't have to be strict with my children anymore. I have to say that I don't really have to. I was strict with them in their early years. I made sure that they knew I was boss, and now they just, they are well behaved. They are, you know, I people say, oh, your children are well behaved, and I've often found myself saying, oh, no, no, you should see them when they're at home. Mm, actually, no, they are just well behaved. And I, again, maybe it's through teaching. I just, I'm able to discipline my children through that disappointed, disappointed voice, uh, rather than having to shout at them. I don't have to shout at my kids. Sorry. You are honest and genuine. Yeah. Do you know what? I am. My husband doesn't like how honest I am. Sometimes he's like, oh, you should watch what you say. I don't believe that I should watch what I say. Obviously, if I think I'm gonna hurt someone's feelings, I'm gonna watch what I say, but I will always 
be honest. I will always tell the truth. I will always be genuine. You will not see me pretending to be somebody else. I am who I am. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. Um, you know, I've had people in the past, you know, like it may never have happened to you, but in the changing rooms, a, a woman, you know, might come up to me. She's not with anyone she knows. She might be like, oh, what do you think? I will be honest with her and say that skirt looks really not great on you. <laughs> uh, why don't you try it in pink and give her some positivity to like redirect her somewhere but I would not let her leave the shop wearing something that I honestly know is going to make her look awful. So yeah I'll be I'll be honest with you and everyone all the time. You are too hard on yourself. Yeah I am. Uh, I constantly strive to improve myself, but that also means that sometimes I don't give myself grace for the the point that I'm at in time right now. So I think, oh, I could have done better. I could have done better. And I'm constantly like cracking the whip against myself to improve, which is a good thing. You should always strive to improve the way that you live your life. But yeah, it does often mean that I like will like you could have done that better, you stupid woman. Um, and yeah, I, I am hard on myself for a lot of things. You are a loyal friend. I've realised recently that I'm not a great friend in terms of keeping in touch with people. Um, but I think maybe we're all a little bit guilty of that. Motherhood swallows up your life um, and it doesn't leave much time for anything. Um, and it is difficult to try and like make time in your brain to go, oh, I must check in with that person. But that is something, being hard on myself, that I'm like, oh, I must remember to do that. God, you need to have remembered. Like, why didn't you remember that? Like, if I forget a birthday, I'm like, oh my God, you know, I'm the most awful person. Um, but I am definitely a loyal friend. I will be loyal to people um, unless they do me wrong, which, you know, I think that's fair enough. I have to say, everyone was so kind when you submitted these assumptions. Um, you were also like positive and I was like, oh God, you all think that I'm this really nice person. I mean, I am, I hope I'm a nice person, but um, yeah, I feel a bit sort of, a bit like weird answering these things because the next one is you're an amazing mummy. And it's like, oh, I'm glad that you think that, but it's also a little bit like, oh God, I hope that I don't come across as this like oh you're the best at everything kind of person and if I do I'm sorry um I'm certainly not the best at everything uh so yeah you're an amazing mummy um I think I'm a good parent I'm a good mother in terms of I'm raising decent humans that I I am confident in my ability to to do that am I an amazing mummy there are days where I I tuck them in bed and I go downstairs and I think god I could have done that better again I'm hard on myself but truly um recently I realized that my eldest daughter Grace was lonely and it was only that she had been saying to me oh mommy can you play cards with me today and I'd been putting her off because I was doing something or other and I just kept putting her off putting her off and by the end of the day, I could just see her mood had just gone vroom. I mean, we're in lockdown. It's difficult for everybody. But sometimes I just, my children are well behaved and therefore I let them get on with things. And therefore it sort of makes me complacent um, and I don't spend as much time with them as maybe I could do. Um, and I certainly don't get it right all of the time. There, there are, you know, times, I mean, I'm not really a shouter, but when I do shout, like if they've really pushed me to my limit, um, I instantly think, oh God, oh, I'm a terrible person. Um, yeah, I... I'm gonna say no, I'm not an amazing mummy. I do the best that I can, which is I think what we all try and do. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say I'm an amazing mummy. I'm, I'm a bog standard, try my best. Like, yeah, that's it. This one makes me smile. Um, you're a bit posh. I, I mean, I'm from the South. My accent, I mean, if you're an American, you're gonna think that I'm posh because I have uh, a British accent. 
but um and if you're northern you're gonna look at me and be like oh she's a southerner Ooh, she's the queen um i wouldn't say i'm particularly posh i live in a town that is very middle class um uh, I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that one. I don't think I'm particularly posh. I certainly don't drink, drink tea like this or I don't drink tea. I mean, I don't even drink tea. Am I even British? Um, yeah, I'm not posh. Uh, I don't really aspire to being posh either. I just, I just, I'm normal. I just feel like I'm just a normal person. Um, if you hung out with me for the day, you'd just be like, yeah, you're just a bit normal. You would like to be minimal. Wouldn't we all just like get rid of it all? Wouldn't that just be great? Um, part of me does. And then part of me goes into people's homes that are all minimalist. Am I just like, am I allowed to even sit down here? Um, so yeah, I, I'd like to declutter further. I would like to get to a point where there's never any mess that's never going to happen because I live here and I'm not even a tidy person um but yeah I, I would like to have less stuff but minimal probably not it's a bit empty isn't it you're a fun mum I get this is where I'm not an amazing mummy I don't think I'm fun my children certainly if you said to them who's the fun parent they would say daddy I am I'm the sensible mum I'm the one who who tells them what they can and can't do um I mean to a point I'm fun because I will let them do things that are fun I don't join in I don't find that fun um yeah like I'll let them paint I'll let them do some play-doh but then I'll be the one telling them to tidy up right now you've made a terrible mess afterwards so um yeah no I'm not really my husband's the fun one he's also the one that causes the most accidents because he's so fun uh no I'm the sensible sensible mum you have the perfect happy home life do you know what after being in lockdown all this time I I agree um i i do now that doesn't mean it's perfect all the time certainly it is not there are days when i feel dissatisfied because like i don't know it's just things go wrong and i'm like oh i wish i had this or i wish i had that or i wish this wish that um but you know being in lockdown has made me appreciate everything that i have i have a loving husband i have three wonderful children i have a roof over my head we are very blessed the the area that we live in i have lovely friends so yeah do you know what i do it's not perfect every day but on the whole i am very grateful for the life that i have you are comfortable in your own skin <laughs> no no not at all um I'm trying to be the uh I have been trying to exercise more regularly and and be careful um with the foods that I put into my body trying to look after my skin more and look after my hair more I mean look at my hair today it's shiny um and looking after myself is helping me to be comfortable in my own body and in my own skin but certainly there are days where I'm just like, just, you know, and um, I just think, God, I wish I, I wish I was this or I wish I was that. So, um, yeah, I'm not always happy in my own skin, but I'm learning to be. You wish your channel was growing quicker. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I do. But channels grow when there is effort put in and i have to say i've neglected all of my social media for about two years and that is because i doubted myself and i didn't have the confidence to carry on and and really push um and this is where uh re who tagged me in this video um she is such an inspiration she has worked so hard and she is reaping the rewards so yes i wish my channel was growing quicker because not because i just want these big numbers that's not why i want it it's because i want to reach more women and be able to help more women with the positivity and re real life inspiration and things like that um but 
it, it doesn't grow unless you put in the work. Your house is as crazy and unorganized as mine. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know how crazy and unorganized your house is, but I'd like to think I'm quite organized. We definitely have processes in the house. We have routines, although I have to say those routines have completely flown out the window through lockdown. Um, yeah, do you know what? It probably is, is unorganized. I mean, there are more organized people out there in the world. I don't think I'm one of them. I'm striving to become organized through decluttering and, and putting in place more routines and habits. Uh, but yeah, yeah, probably. You are an amazing wife. I don't know, I don't think my husband would agree. Um, I mean, I'm kind, I'm caring. Um, I'm thoughtful. I went shopping earlier and I bought him a box of Maltesers to have on his desk while he's working from home. Um, am I the most attentive wife? No, no, I'm not. It's not, no. Uh, my husband would certainly, uh, say that I could do more. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I don't think I'm a great wife. Um, I have been trying recently to really make an effort to, you know, put my phone down of an evening and talk more and, um, you know, try, we had a date night where I cooked dinner and, um, just made more of an effort to be present um but certainly yeah no there are lots of ways i could be a better wife you've experienced unfriendliness from other mums and have sworn never to be the same yeah i have I was bullied as a teen, um, so even before motherhood, before that, I was really bullied badly at school, and um, that has affected me my entire life afterwards. And yeah, do you know what? My lack of confidence because of that has probably rolled forwards when I would go to the school playground when my children first started school my lack of confidence probably repelled people i look back and i think oh i was being unfriendly no wonder they didn't want to talk to me um because now i know that mum's better and i know that they don't have an issue with me but at the time i honestly thought that they were the problem but i i see now i had no confidence and so I repelled them, I did. But I know that how that made me feel, even though it was me repelling them, I, I know how I perceived it at the time. So now, when I am on the playground, I make sure if I see somebody standing on their own, I mean, within reason, I don't go and stand and talk to somebody, a parent of year six, if I'm like near the year three mums, um, but I'll just wander over and sit on the wall next to another year three mum that, you know, and I'll just start chatting because why would I, why would I not, why would I just be like, no, I'm going to stand on my own. Like, why would I do that? Um, and you know, some of them I don't know very well at all, but I would still talk to them. I'd still like, hi, hi, have you had a good day? Um, uh, because I know what it's like to be ignored when somebody walks over and just stands right there and doesn't speak to you. And you just think, but why weren't you speaking to me? So, um, I vowed never to be unfriendly to anyone who's standing on their own or even to just, even if there's a group of people, I'm still going to say hello. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to just walk past and ignore a group of people who, you know, people who are parents of the children in my children's classes. That's a mouthful, isn't it? I don't think I said that right. Um, so, yeah, I'm always going to be the first person to say hello, ask how your day has been. And I hope that that comes across if you ever message me, um, that I will reply. I won't be like, oh, yeah, thanks, kiss. Like a lot of people on Instagram, you'll me I've messaged people and I just get nothing back at all. Or if I do get something back, it's a, ha ha, yeah, you know, whatever. Like I will answer you in a whole paragraph or an essay. Like someone messaged me earlier about the curly girl method. I've rambled on. I rambled on and I hope that she sat there and just thought, oh, she's nice, isn't she? She just took the time. Yes, I'm going to take the time. You are worth the time. I'm going to, I'm going to interact with you and, and take the time. But humans are all sociable creatures. We deserve to, to have proper communications, you know? <laughs> Does that make sense?
I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about me. Thank you for being so kind. There were no nasty assumptions at all. It was just really fun to answer them. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of new videos. And I will be back next Sunday at 7pm with another upload. Bye!